Japan's nuclear crisis minister says he wants to make Fukushima Prefecture an international center to promote nuclear safety. Goshi Hosono envisions setting up an institute where specialists would be trained and advanced radiological medicine would be studied. Fukushima Prefecture will be a relevant venue for the world to learn about the basic principles of nuclear safety. In an interview with NHK, Hosono said the institute would also help people learn about the long process of scrapping the reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The work is expected to take 30 to 40 years. Stop being so nervous. Later on we'll get ice cream. We will conduct advanced work in areas such as radiological medicine and decontamination. Lessons learned must be available to the rest of the world. Hosono also said his ministry will work to develop robots that will be used to remove spent fuel rods and dispose of the damaged reactor. <laughs> oh, I think I can compose myself after that. <laughs> Japan's leading electronics maker Toshiba has produced some technology that's giving hope to people affected by the disaster last March. Engineers have developed a mobile system to decontaminate areas affected by the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Government rules for the cleanup take effect later this month. Then communities will begin full-scale decontamination work. Toshiba spokespersons say their equipment can decontaminate 1.7 tons of soil and sludge per day, and it can remove up to 97% of the radioactive substances. Toshiba and Japanese machinery maker IHI also collaborated in developing a system to extract low-level radioactive materials from water in reservoirs and sewage systems. The devices are based on technologies used to decontaminate the Fukushima Daiichi plant. We'd like to decontaminate the soil and water with this system. We'll go ahead with the work after checking that the communities are safe. We'll go ahead with the work after checking that the communities are safe. Then we hope residents will come back. Company spokespersons say they're trying to reduce the equipment's operating costs and improve its treatment capacity. They hope to ramp up production while assessing demand for the product. The need to find steady work is taking an added urgency for survivors of last year's disaster in northeastern Japan. More than 2,500 people in the three hardest hit prefectures will see their unemployment benefits expire within the next two months. The Labour Ministry says more than 64,000 people had received unemployment benefits in Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures as of November. The figure is nearly double what it was in 2010. The Ministry says of the total, up to 1,300 people will lose their benefits by the end of this month. 1,400 others will join their ranks in February. Many disaster survivors have had trouble finding stable employment. The majority of jobs in the hardest hit parts of the northeast are in temporary fields such as construction. The Labour Ministry says it will do more to help the unemployed, such as setting up a new subsidy program for companies that hire survivors. The French nuclear watchdog has revealed that nuclear plants there need billions of dollars to improve safety in the event of natural disasters. Well, you're not serious, are you? The Nuclear Safety Authority disclosed the results of its assessments of 58 plants. Nearly 80% of the country's energy resources come from nuclear power generation. The head of the Safety Authority, André-Claude Lacoste, said none of the reactors needs to be shut down immediately. Still, he called on power companies to submit additional reports on safety measures. We may need to close the facilities if their operators cannot improve safety before the end of June. 
Nuclear power policy is a key issue in this year's French presidential election. President Nicolas Sarkozy is a strong supporter of nuclear power generation. One of the archers said she prayed to improve her skills and become a responsible person. Uh, the uh, dose of radiation exposure was so high that a lot of animals who were exposed to it uh, just uh, went mad. That is, uh, they were, what is the word, just, you see, berezk, yeah. Собаки, которые остались, and uh, the dogs that were left there, в зоне, бежали в лес, went to the forest, многие собаки, лисы, волки, у них они сошли с ума и стали нападать на людей, которые работали в зоне. Started attacking people who were working there in the zone, the workers. Этот же самый эффект можно было отслеживать и на диких свиней. In fact, even the hogs in the wild they also became mad and started attack attacking when we were going from Chernobyl where we stayed over the night to Pripyat which where we were decaminating and then one hog attacked our car with such a force that almost we almost went into the ditches the car Without the intervention of strong moral souls, the world will slide into ever-increasing state tyrannies. That is the role and the rule of history. History comes down to the decisions and the resolution of particular individuals. There is no such thing as a historical movement, historical patterns, greater historical forces. No. It comes down to how deep you are willing to plant the cleats of your integrity and resolution and stand before the storms of social disapproval and attack and condemnation and resistance and skepticism and scorn and contempt and mockery. If you are willing to stand in the face of those storms until the world begins to rotate around the deep truths of your own propositions, then the world can be saved. And in the absence of that, you will simply be blown into totalitarianism along with everyone else. And I know that people don't want to hear the truth. People in your life, people in my life, they don't want to hear the truth. It's going to be, future's going to be pretty much like the past. Historic, historically, this is not true. Historically, this is not true. The French Revolution was not like what came before. It was a blood-soaked, murderous mob of immense and endless psychopathy. The growing liberalization, end of serfdom, the growing liberalization of Russia, the early part of the 20th century, did not slowly progress, rolling gently like a blown dandelion up the sunlit hill towards the shining city in the hill called modern freedom, capitalism, and democracy. No. It became a blood-soaked grave, a brain-mashing communistic harvesting of all souls who stood in the way of the extension of state power. The future is rarely like the past, and the future either goes up or it goes down. The future either loosens the shackles on mankind or tightens them around its neck. And the people in your life who resist the truth of what you have to say, you need to fight harder for them, for their future. Bless them for they know not what they do. And if you fail, and if you fall, and if the jackal blood swastika hounds of statism ride past you and under the throats of those who you could have saved, I think with their last breath they will damn you for not
fighting harder for them, although they resisted you, although they fought you, they will still curse you. And there are the innocent among them who have never heard of freedom, who know not what is coming. The young, the children. We need to stand against all forms of social disapproval to ring this blame spritting bell of freedom, even if it harms the ears of the sensitive and shocks the conscience of the moribund. Because if we fall, less than nothing will stand.